was the what was the most stoned you've ever been in your whole life? With Willie fucking Nelson. We was in Amsterdam on 420, and he was doing a concert out there. He performed on the 19th, and I performed on the 20th. So we went back to his hotel room, and we was playing dominoes. So Willie had a vape, a joint, I had a blunt, and he had a pipe. So me and him playing dominoes one-on-one. -on -one. He whooping my ass, and I'm just getting higher and higher and higher, and he just keep passing it to me. And I'm like, this old motherfucker's out smoking me, and I'm trying to stop. But I can't because I don't want to show no signs of weakness. So then 15 minutes into the session, I said, I say, Willie, hey, man, let's get something to eat, man. <laughs> and we go to Kentucky Fried Chicken, right? So we're in the back of the van. And when they bring the chicken from the drive through they give it to us. And me and Willie both put our hands in the bucket at the same time. And we grab the same piece of chicken, Tom. And I look at Willie and I say, it's yours, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing that's amazing oh, what a great story that's great awesome. story you know that's i've always awesome. wanted to ask you this snoop do you think the dogs name their owners <laughs> i do i really do i really do I, and i'm gonna tell you why because a lot of times when i meet people with dogs the dogs don't even know me but they know me meaning that it could be a pit bull a rock pile or a german shepherd the meanest dog on the block, but when they see me, they run up to me and they, and then they'll say something to me and then they owners would be like, my dog's never done that before. And I'm like, your dog don't know you. Your dog knows me. <laughs> <laughs> what did your dog name you? The uh, dog father. Yes, sir. The one and only. The one and only. The dog father of civilization. Hey, Snoop, here in that Willie Nelson story, I'm just wondering, how do you possibly remember all of your passwords? <laughs> they easy. <laughs> they they like they like they like a uh, uh, nursery rhyme, but I don't want you to try to figure this shit out on the air and have motherfuckers try to guess my code. You know? <laughs> all right, as we wrap it, it's Bryce Davis on the check in, and we got Snoop Dogg on the Let's Go podcast with Tom Brady. You know, he told a story of, you know, the highest he's ever been smoking weed. You know, me personally, I'm not a big weed head. I do have a medical card because, you know, dealing with cancer and whatnot. But uh, I'm not really like into weed like that. But, you know, the highest I've ever been, I had been about 27. You know, I went to the Oregon district in Dayton and it was the weed man's birthday. You know, I went out with a group of friends and, you know what I'm saying, half of them I didn't really know. But one was the weed man. It was his birthday. So we just ride in, you know, he passing blunts on the way there on the highway. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm good off one blunt. Like, I've never smoked a blunt and wasn't super duper high. But, you know, they had like three blunts in rotation, maybe more. I don't even remember. But shit, I probably made it to the second blunt, second, third. You know, I'm a little lightweight when it comes to the weed, whatever. And I got so motherfucking high that it was, uh, it had to have been January. I want to say like January, it was freezing outside. You know, like everybody had a coat on, but I was so high that I couldn't feel my body temperature. I, I could feel my heart. You know what I mean by this? Like, you're like, yo, is my heart beating? Like, yo, it's beating fast. Like, yo, am I breathing? You know, I stepped outside. I was so high, I couldn't feel temperature. Like I had no coat on, no nothing. You know, and I had a bottle in my hand and, you know, there's a police officer walking by, you know, you're not allowed to just carry open containers out. And, you know, I tried to be funny in front of my friend and pass on the bottle in front of the cop because I just thought that was a the hilarious thing to do. My friend was mad as fuck. Like, yo, what the fuck are you doing, man? But me, I'm just so high and carefree that, you know, I find this shit funny. So, you know, the cop, he just told me to get rid of the bottle or whatever. But, you know, that just goes to show like, you can be too high y'all and you know there's there's more of a story but you know i might get into that um another time and if you've seen the story about fat joe being high i went in a little more detail on that one so anyway if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe